All right, Manitoba taxpayers, I totally just busted one of those photo radar vehicles, and I'm going to show you a video clip in a second. But first of all, take a look at the checklist of things that they have to do before they issue tickets each day. Number two clearly says, park the vehicle parallel to the curb. Number three says, perform a vehicle walk around. Now this is really important because if the vehicle isn't parked parallel with the curb, then the angles get off, and if the angles get off, then the readings get off, and you could get a ticket and you might not deserve one. Now take a look at the video clip that I captured earlier today. Okay, so it's Thursday, May 3rd, and you can see at the back here, this is the distance of the tire at the back. Just doing an interview here with CTV, and then the, at the front, you can see it's quite a bit wider, and now he's actually moving the vehicle. And he's just adjusted the wheels. <laughs> well, there you have it, taxpayers. That's how sneaky the photo radar program can actually be. It's not about safety. It's not about handing out accurate tickets. It's about money. Your money. Now what you need to do is call your city councillor or the mayor. Why? Because the photo radar program is operated by a private company. And that contract is due up at the end of 2012. Tell your counselor it's time to go back to having real police officers and force speed limits. After all, real police officers can actually pull dangerous drivers over. They can tell if they're drinking or on drugs, and they can also tell if the vehicle's stolen. It's time to speak out. I'm Colin Craig from the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. Thanks for watching. Please forward this message to your friends.